the whole idea was it's a movie about legacy. Who are some of the heroes who played critical foundational roles in this genre? Make it make sense. So Deadpool and Wolverine has an incredible sequence where it brings back Jennifer Garner as Elektra, Wesley Snipes as Blade, and introduces Channing Tatum as Gambit. I did a segment after opening weekend being a little confused as to why Marvel would greenlight this Wesley as Blade cameo. I didn't think that Marvel was into it, Disney was into it. But instead it made sense in the context of which it happens, and I applauded Ryan Reynolds and director Sean Levy for using Deadpool and Wolverine as a platform to bring back Jennifer and Wesley. There's an opportunity to give them their flowers, acknowledge their contributions, a victory lap so to speak, to celebrate them. Then I learned what Wesley says in the film. There's only been one blade. This was a script co-written by Ryan Reynolds. If he didn't write that line himself, he certainly approved it. And Deadpool staring down the camera after Blade says that line certainly implies that Deadpool agrees. Deadpool never punches down. Never. He's really like I, the only person he punches down on is me, Ryan Reynolds. Like that, not no one else. How is that not Deadpool punching down on Mahershala Ali? How? Then on Monday, when Ryan lifted his self-imposed gag order on talking about the cameos, he posted on Instagram, There is no Fox Marvel Universe or MCU without Blade first creating a market. He is Marvel Daddy. Please share for a Logan-like send-off. Referring to the critically acclaimed box office smash 2017 movie that killed off Hughes Wolverine. That turns out wasn't a send-off because you brought him back from the dead in this movie. So I don't really know what constitutes a Logan-like send-off in Ryan's eyes, but I do know that he definitely wants Wesley to have a fourth Blade movie. Now let's be clear, Ryan knows that Marvel isn't going to finance both a fourth Blade movie with Wesley and a Blade reboot with Mahershala. Coupled with that line of dialogue, this is Ryan saying, no Mahershala. Ryan might as well have just posted the cancel Mahershala Lee's Blade movie headline that Wesley posted instead. We genuinely made this movie with nothing but love. I want to believe that Ryan doesn't want to actually undermine Mahershala's Blade. Um, but I'm trying to rationalize how he doesn't see that he's doing that. <laughs> Like he wrote on his post about Channing, having the chance to say goodbye to some of these heroes is as important as having new characters to root for. Not only are you not treating this as a goodbye to Wesley's Blade, but you're not rooting for the new Blade either. It didn't make sense to me. There seems to be so many like competing ideas going on in Ryan's brain. Like the movie asserts that there is only going to be one Blade. I can't think of a more impossible and frustrating role to recast than something like Wolverine. And yet they entertain the idea that there's not going to be just one Wolverine. It was born of like, I don't know if I had to like cast someone as a, you know, as Wolverine. And I and and the the guy who's made it, you know, uh canon in every way, shape, and form on screen and off wasn't available for some reason. Henry Cavill would be pretty I mean, you know. In talking about the hypothetical situation of having to play Wolverine. Ryan sympathizes with the hypothetical actor. As an actor, that would be an awful and intimidating feeling stepping into that. And he doesn't recognize that by having Wesley say, it's going to be an awful, intimidating feeling for Mahershala to step into that role. Um, for me, there was a real personal connection to Wesley and, and Blade. And yeah, since Ryan co-starred in Blade Trinity, you could, you know, use that as an explanation to say why, you know, he's not supportive of Mahershala's uh, Blade. Really just the criteria for that casting and why we thought of them was they were, they were folks who just didn't have a third act. Wesley starred in three Blade movies. And that loyalty to a co-star didn't translate to Ryan's other co-star <laughs> who first played a superhero role in the Marvel movie. He didn't call up his X-Men Origins Wolverine co-star Taylor Kitsch to give him a chance to play Gambit again. Even though plans for a Gambit spinoff with Taylor were cancelled, and Ryan's spinoff as Deadpool almost got cancelled as well after that movie was released in 2009. Instead, Ryan called up the guy who never got a chance to play the role, Channing Tatum. And like I said before, Ryan confirmed in his post about Channing on Monday, his story is similar to my road on Deadpool, and that Chan spent a decade trying to put the most comic accurate version of Gambit on the big screen. Channing was just a dream. Don't get me wrong, I love that Ryan did that and it was the right choice, but if we're going by Ryan's explanation for the choices of that segment, <laughs> Taylor fits the bill more than Wesley does. When it comes to my explanation of the segment, giving people their flowers and you know, allowing them a victory lap, yeah, Wesley is a great choice. And on the Channing side of things, Ryan can recognize that Channing's Gambit movie was stuck in development hell based on circumstance, not because Channing wasn't a great choice for the role and gave him a chance. But then on the flip side, Ryan doesn't recognize, realize, want to acknowledge, ignores the fact that Mahershala's Blade is in the same development hell that he and Channing were in for five years. And those delays are not due to Mahershala. A lot of them could be explained by a global pandemic, a writer's strike, and an actor's strike. 
some of the challenges they're facing now with the project, it shouldn't be credited to him. Rehearsal is certainly a worthy actor who deserves the chance to play Blade and doesn't deserve to be undermined like that in your movie, Ryan, before he gets a chance to. Like literally, if Mahershala's Blade gets canceled because of this, it would then be a circumstance of someone, <laughs> of an actor, that Ryan would want to give a platform to so he can play the role of Blade. <laughs> the bet we were making was how much that, that audiences miss him dearly. They just maybe didn't realize it yet. No, Ryan, audiences just didn't miss him. Like, I mean, those who wanted to saw him in three movies and the reception of the last film that you were in, Blade Trinity, was not good. It didn't do great at the box office. It opened with half the amount that Blade 2 did. And yeah, its worldwide total was down as well. And the reaction from those who did see it was not great. So Marvel didn't finance a fourth movie. It looked like you brought your own hat, Mahershala. You did? What is that? When Mahershala's casting was announced in 2019 at Comic-Con, there was no big outcry that he was taking the role away from Wesley. Thank you, very rare for an actor to play a leading role as a superhero in more than three movies. I cried at Com San Diego Comic-Con because it was just like the most, like, I don't know, man, just feeling that redemption in the air and how powerful and what a movie star Wesley Snipes is. And that's all true, but getting a big cheer from the Comic-Con audience doesn't justify getting a fourth movie. It doesn't mean just because they cheered for him, it doesn't mean they want to see him in a fourth movie now. They just like seeing him again. <laughs> Leave it at that. You gave him that moment, Ryan. You gave him his flowers and bravo to you for doing that. But pushing it any further just pushes Mahershala out. <sighs> I don't get it. Do you? Jen blows blows the roof off the place. And then what? it's just like this layer cake of awesome that just keeps happening. <laughs>